continued proportions. Now, many a times what can happen is that if instead of two, you may have only three variables, okay? So let's say you have any three numbers, A, B, and C, and you're asked to find out whether these three numbers, A, B, C, are in proportion. Now this is interesting because till now what we were seeing was there were four numbers A, B, C, D. Okay, and we were finding out whether these are in proportions. But can we say that whether there are three numbers and these are in continued proportion or not? This is possible. But in such a case what has had to happen is that if A is to B, okay, is proportional to B is to C, then A, B, and C are said to be in continued proportion. Okay? So let us try this out for certain numbers. Okay? So let's say you have three numbers which are 5, 25, 125, right? So how do you find out whether these three are in continued proportion using this particular thing? So if these three are in continued proportion, then A is to B. So what is my A here? My A is basically 5, B is equal to 25 and C is equal to 125. So if these three are in continued proportion, then 5 is to 25 should be equal to 25 is to 125. Right? So let's consider 5 by 25. Now if you divide both the sides, not both the sides actually, both the numerator and the denominator by 5, we get what? 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. So we have reduced the ratio in its simplest form on the left side. Let's try this out on the right side also. So you have 25 divided by 125. So what do we divide this by? Well, the clue to this comes from the first answer that you've got. So this is 1 upon 5. So ideally you should get something like 5 over here. So, if you divide this number by 5, what do you get? You get 25. So, you divide both the numerator and the denominator by 25. Again, 25 divided by 25 is 1. 125 divided by 25 is 5. Since the proportion of A is to B is equal to B is to C, we say that these three numbers are in continued proportion. Okay? Let's take one more example. Let's say you are given that 3 is to 9 is to x. Given these are in continued proportion, find x. Okay. Now again, if these three are in continued proportion, then what does that mean? That basically means that 3 upon 9, or rather let me not go straight to this, then 3 is to 9 should be equal to 9 is to x. Right? Or, in other words, 3 upon 9 is equal to 9 upon x. Right? Or wrong? Now we do the cross multiplication. This will give us x into 3 will give us 3x is equal to 9 times 9 will give us 81. Let's divide both the sides by 3. So this 3 cancels out this 3. This 3 will cancel out this 81 to give 27. x is equal to 27. So the number or the value which should be here in order to make this particular 
case as a continued proportion case is 27 okay 